A new telescope, which will be the world's largest, is to be built 3,000 metres above sea level on top of a mountain in Chile. There, in the middle of the Atacama Desert, one of the driest places on Earth, it will have the best possible conditions for observation. Astronomers are expecting it to answer many of the deepest and most important questions in their subject. The new telescope will have a mirror 39 metres across, making it by far the largest optical telescope in the world. Although a mirror of this size presents huge technical difficulties, its light gathering capacity should be greater than all existing telescopes put together. That's what makes this telescope truly special. Experts predict that it will even be able to capture images of planets orbiting distant stars. And because looking out into space is also looking back in time, astronomers hope to discover new information about the early history of the universe. Is it surprising that a telescope funded by Europe should be based so far away in Chile? Not at all. The very clean and dry air of the Atacama Desert is one advantage. Another is that the southern sky is more interesting to astronomers. As one expert said, the centre of our Milky Way galaxy is to the south, so there is more to see. Then is it surprising that the telescope is to be based on Earth? Recent telescope projects have been based in space, like the Hubble telescope, but new technology means that land-based telescopes can do far more than previously thought. When light passes through the Earth's atmosphere, it is affected in various ways. For example, by moisture, by varying wind speeds, or by different temperature layers. However, it is now possible, using computers, to keep images sharp in spite of these distortions. The new telescope's main mirror will be made up of almost 800 small reflective plates, each of which is 1.4 metres across and 5 centimetres thick. These plates can be moved under computer control so that the image is less affected by atmospheric distortion. The huge cost of the project, over a thousand million euros, is to be shared by about 15 European countries. But governments and scientists alike believe that the benefits of this 39-metre telescope project will far exceed its costs. Apart from any scientific discoveries, the project will strengthen friendships between countries, stimulate technological progress that can be applied in other areas, and inspire young people to take up a career in science or technology.